Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down Arena today, and before we jump into that and play our game, I want to do a quick update, as you can see we got a face cam here, and I haven't posted a video in what feels like three weeks, but I've, I haven't posted a video in only like two days, my computer got messed up, I had to reset it a bunch of times, uh, everything looks to be in order now, hopefully all the audio and stuff is how it needs to be, um, so now we have a new setup, uh, new graphics, new everything, and a new face cam. So hopefully you guys enjoy that, uh, and that'll be incorporated with everything. Uh, but before we get into the game, I wanted to go over some of the big news that just got announced last night. Magic the Gathering had a live event where they announced Modern Horizons, the new set coming out. <clears throat> the new set is uh, coming out in June, it's uh, going to be, I believe, 245 cards, something along those lines. Uh, you can buy the booster box and everything, uh, but it's skipping standard. It's going straight into modern, and the cards will be specifically designed for modern uh, with modern play in mind. So big, big news. Obviously, as Merfolk fans, we know that it's going to have some tribal synergy stuff going on, some new cards coming in. We don't know what yet. Uh, but we know there's going to be some big things in store for Merfolk. And a lot of the other uh, different metas that are in Modern right now are going to get boosted. I know there's going to be some reprints. Um, nothing, No reprints that are already in Modern. So that means they're going to be doing some reprints uh, to help us out in Modern that might not already be in. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. We may see some interesting things from that. But the live stream yesterday uh, introduced us to two cards. Uh, so I'll show those here for you guys. Boom, boom, Cabal Therapist, and Sarah the Benevolent. Sarah Angel uh, is a card that's been reprinted numerous times over the years as an angel creature type. Uh, and people, I guess, have been asking it for to be a Planeswalker, and this was their opportunity to do it. So we've got Sarah the Benevolent as a Planeswalker. Pretty powerful Planeswalker, not too bad. It's got some very good uh, minus threes and plus twos and whatnot uh looks pretty interesting uh kapal therapist already a one drop one one with menace at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase you may sacrifice a creature when you do choose a non-land card name then target player reveals their hand and discards all the cards with that name so pretty uh unique hand hate and some interesting stuff going on with uh the creature horror cabal therapist uh, these are per some pretty awesome artwork as well. Uh, let me show you some of this artwork. Look at this, look at this beautiful artwork we got going on here. That is some, some nice stuff. I love it. Uh, obviously Sarah. Boom. Look at that. Love that. That looks so great. So I am pretty pumped about this. I know where all my money is going to be going into in June. I mean, War of the Spark, Battle of the Spark, whatever it's called. Who cares? I'm more pumped about this now. <laughs> the next set, I'll save my money and put my 100 bucks towards Modern Horizons because this is going to be pretty cool. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. What are you expecting to come out of the set? What are you hoping comes out uh, in the set for Merfolk and the Merfolk community? I know a lot of people have been saying different things about one drops again I, I no one's ever satisfied with one drops in merfolk um a lot of people talking about true name nemesis possibly getting a reprint everybody would be really hoping that could be a thing um so we'll see i'm excited i'm pretty pumped it's it's gonna be pretty cool so modern horizons coming out in june uh forget the actual date i think pre-release is like june 9th and then it's like june 5th 16th 16th i believe 16th would be the actual release date for it so pretty, pretty awesome news. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get our quick win. So let's jump over here and I had to reinstall uh, Arena. So let's uh, get back into it with our Simic Mer Stomp Merfolk deck. See if we uh, can't start this off right. Oh, man. So, I know a lot of you guys have been enjoying the popper slivers that I've been posting. I'm going to be doing more of MTGO on the regular as well. It's hard to split them up because I want to just play, you know, everything. 
Um, but you guys really enjoyed the two popper slivers videos. The only videos I was able to post this week, luckily I had them already previously recorded, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to put anything out at all this week. We can keep this. We got, we got things we can do right now. Uh, sort of. Wow, I just kept that and we only had two fours. Never mind, we're kind of screwing ourselves a little bit. It's not a good way to start. And Healer Hawk, so this might be... Alright, cool. Well, I kept a terrible hand. I didn't even look at what what was in our hand for mana. We'll give it another turn, and if we uh, get screwed the next two turns here, we may just concede and re-roll the dice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, give me... Okay, all right. <laughs> Reroll. <laughs> Let's try that again. Clicking too fast. More worried about doing that intro and making sure I cover everything and try to get set up with this new setup and everything and everything's going right that uh, I'm not even looking at what I need to be holding in my hand, so little out of sorts but we'll we'll get it we'll get it corrected all right oblivion good choice of a name all right here we go this is better we're gonna lead with kumena hopefully he doesn't get taken out uh, but we'll hold up storm Ta we'll drop storm tamer next turn and be able to swing in for two he might get taken out. Okay. Lava Runner, we can deal with that. Titanic Growth, perfect. We'll just empty our hand here a little bit. Start swinging. Alright, so this is probably going to be mono. Mono red. You going to block? Alright, no blocks, no blocks. Alright, I'm not worried about the Pyromancer. So next turn we're playing Mistbinder for sure. Be able to eat all their creatures if they want to block. Uh, I need another island. If we can get one more island, that would be excellent. Hold down, hold up, dive down, and have our Siren Storm. Okay, well. Interesting. I think we're still going to do the Mistbinder play here and just swing in, really put some heavy pressure on them. And then next turn we've got all our instants and enchantments and stuff we can play. Going to do the blocks, that's fine. They're smart enough to know they can't take too much damage from Merfolk, otherwise they're just going to get completely decimated. We're still in a very good spot though. Alright, Pyromancer. That's fine. You gonna shock my Mistbinder? Don't shock my Mistbinder, please. That was a mistake. Take out my Mistbinder, man. What are you doing? Oh, an island. Wonderful. Okay. Let's uh, swing with the Siren Storm Tamer and Kumena. Get ourselves a card draw here. Is he going to double block? He is going to double block. Interesting. Um, I don't want to waste my dive down, but if he's already backpedaling like this, I'm just going to keep my Kumena up and take out both his Pyromancers. Not ideal situation there. Because now Siren Storm Tamer's offline a little bit. So. Might not be. It might have just been better to just trade the Kumenas with those two and not worry about giving up my Hexproof. 
Not worried about that. Okay, cool. So we're in fine shape now. Spin to the attack here. Alright. So he's still deciding if that's the block he wants to make. We're not going to Titanic Growth yet. Let's get our card draw. Ooh, okay. Okay. So River Sneak, and then... I think we'll be able to win next turn here. Can we hit him for 10? 3. That'll resolve. Uh, yeah. Let him hit us. You're done. Yep. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we would have been able to crush him next turn. Didn't matter. Good game. Good game. Well, glad to be back and recording again. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys are enjoying the new setup with the new webcam and face cam. Uh, now that I've got this all set up, uh, I think I'm going to try to stream every once in a while. It'd be nice. I'd like to. We'll see how that goes. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Otherwise, uh, stay tuned. We've got our Call of Duty League Play video tomorrow. Uh, that'll be coming up and then we've got our final video for our Ravnica Allegiance booster box uh, unpacking and there are some big big pulls in that video so stay tuned you're not going to want to miss that our last one didn't get a whole lot of views so if you missed it make sure to go check that out from last Sunday I'll leave a link in the description as well and we will see you guys in the next one